everyone. Welcome to Storytime Online. We're going to read Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library by Julie Gassman. Look at that awesome dragon. We've been doing a lot with fairy tales and nursery rhymes and mythological creatures this summer, so I thought this would be a great one to read. When you visit the library, please keep in mind no running, no shouting, to all books be kind. But there's one rule that's bigger than the rest, and it must be followed by all of our guests. Do not bring your dragon to the library. That's an awfully big dragon. A dragon is sometimes a very rude beast. At story time, he'll take up 10 spaces at least. A dragon's big bottom can pack a real punch. Each time he sits down, you'll hear a great big crunch. So, do not bring your dragon to the library. You might ask her to come to a library show, but trouble will start with the first song she knows. Her swaying hips will crowd your space with a dragon jig that has no grace. Can you imagine a dragon in the library when Mr. Jim comes? to sing his songs with the juice box heroes? Not enough space, not enough space. So do not bring your dragon to the library. Maybe you're thinking, don't worry, it's fine. There's plenty of space in that library of mine. Perhaps that's true, but he's sure to roam then you'll be wishing you had left your dragon at home. <gasps> Look, there go the bookshelves. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You see, aisles of books are hard to resist. She's sure to find sections that cannot be missed. As your dragon starts to read, she could overexcite and then chances are her flames will ignite. <gasps> What's gonna happen to the book if it gets just on fire? Dragon fire. So do not bring your dragon to the library. I know, I know what you're saying is true, but leaving him home will make him quite blue. It's my favorite place. Please listen to me. My dragon would love the library. That librarian doesn't look very happy, huh? Not at all. Movies and computers and places to read. Tales of heroes and adventure of, go of good and of greed cookbooks and bios. Oh, listen to my plea. May I please bring my dragon to the library? Hmm. What's this librarian going to say? I'm afraid, my kind friend, I cannot agree. A dragon in the library? It simply can't be. But don't fret, don't frown, I have a solution. Listen now to my smart substitution. Librarians are problem solvers. Your dragon should not miss the library treasures. Just bring home some books for her reading pleasure. If you use your card often, you will very soon see that you never have to bring your dragon to the library. That's right, you can take home the books and the movies and the bios and the stories, and you can share them with your dragon at home. They look awfully cozy. Wow, these author, the author and the illustrator were really creative. Those were some pretty cool looking dragons in all different shapes and colors. Well, this book is available in the library, so I hope you come by and check it out. I'll see you next week for Storytime Online. 
Goodbye.